This is an overview of the different magnetron designs I've been experimenting with and I just like to go through them and point out some of the pros and cons of uh, these different designs. The first one, this is my first uh, video mini magnetron and uh, I don't know if you can see the quality of this. There's some copper on there, uh, but there's also a lot of oxides, and you can see how, how much darker it is. Uh, another problem I had is this did not remove heat quickly enough, and the uh, magnets that were in here pretty much, I mean, there's a little bit of magnetism left, but these were really powerful, and now they're just, uh, they're really just kind of pieces of metal now. Yeah, they barely, you know, they, they hardly stick together, really. So the heat was too much, and it uh, lost the magnetic field of those magnets. And then it couldn't control the plasma. This one was actually, uh, this design is another s small mini-magnetron. This one was quite worked quite good for a while. Um, the plasma was so hot that it actually cracked the glass on the glass slide I was sputtering. Also, even once it, it melted right through, the, the beam was so intense it melted right through my copper target. Um, let me show you this slide. So you've got a little bit of oxide around the edge, but a very nice uh, copper metal coating. Um, I also used a chimney and I would recommend using some type of glass because this was a plastic uh, chimney and it was you can see metal coated the inside and also uh, it started to melt from the intense heat that uh, came off from the ion beam and uh, so yeah this this uh, magnetron was inside inside that little uh, chimney and what I had done to try to mitigate the heat is uh, I put the magnets inside the copper tube, cooling coils around the copper tube, and a thicker copper plate on top to help absorb some of the heat from that beam. So I got the best results with this design. Last, I tried to, using a larger magnetron. You can see uh, metal had been deposited on the side of this PVC. Uh, you can see there's a, a lot of different samples I tried. Um, again, these did not work. Uh, this did not work as well as the previous design. There's a, a little bit of copper, um, but you can see a lot of a lot of the darker oxides that I don't really want. Um, here I tried uh, DC and AC sputtering. Uh, both worked. I think uh, this one's darker because I let it run. Let the it run a little bit longer, the, the plasma. And I tried larger. I found them disadvantages with this. Again, the, the plasma didn't get hot enough to give me a nice clean copper coating and again this the this corona that forms underneath the magnet here and uh, having the larger surface area um, you know you get plasma all around this and it, it takes away from the intensity of the beam uh, that we're used to that we used to sputter the copper so Again, I did a cooling coil, and I made it so that you could insert the magnets in this copper tube. So that's an overview of the three magnetrons I've been working with. Again, I got the best results with this mini magnetron, and I'm going to work... Uh, in the future to develop a, a design that's a little bit more like this. Uh, and I found that these were just too large 
to work well with the vacuum and the power supply that I have. And again, this smaller one overheat and, uh, and the magnets inside really weaken due to that heating. So uh, that's an overview of uh, my magnetron experiments this far.